Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Chris Omi, we are back playing more FM21 with the Swansea way. And it seems to me that things are going okay. Um, nowhere near as dominant as last year, really, really good start to the season. Three wins, four draws in all competitions. Three and three in the league, a draw to start off the Europa League. Um, not too shabby, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that in general. Lost on penalties playing our B team uh, away to Burnley. So, I'm okay with that. We took the lead, gave it back, took it back straight away. Late goal from Big Chris Wood. Uh, not a bad performance, not a bad game. Just felt the penalties and so be it. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, from there, we get a decent win. A Palace away, Trabzon Spore away as well. Five different scorers. Uh, Brewster missed the penalty. It could have been bigger for us. Then a six-goal thriller. Last-minute equaliser from Tyler Roberts. Demir didn't play well. Brewster really didn't play well. And uh, we subbed off Brewster. We brought on Tyler Roberts. 91st minute, he got the job done. So we were always playing catch-up. This is always a tough game. Uh, it will be his early goal. Kai George. Then Bernard puts them back ahead straight away. Koch puts us back in the mix. Moreos. He jumps in. Not too long after though to give them the lead. And it's right at the death do we strangle uh, the life of this game and steal a point that we probably didn't deserve, to be fair. Um, and then the strikers work wonders. Tim Roning, been very suspect uh, over the course of this season. Uh, we go to Arsenal, we get absolutely outplayed, outmatched, outwitted, everything. Uh, we're not at that level yet where we can consistently consistently play against the big boys um a 96 minute winner from Demir gets us all three points at Craven Cottage and like this is the level we're at like stealing draws against Everton and stealing wins against Fulham away that's the level we're at not not beating Arsenal Chelsea United all those boys uh 2-1 okay. no way to Leipzig a very good performance we seem to uh Rise our, our game up. Raskin didn't play well again. Rian Brewster didn't play well. And I will say that Roening and Brewster are starting to be the two most kind of hit and miss players we got. Either they play really well and we, we kind of win. Or one of them plays well and we kind of get good results. Or they both play poorly and we end up losing the game. It's, it's very much sort of top and tail of the team where oh, it's a bit rough bit rough um a great win but we couldn't follow that up in the league it's a it's a dodgy draw against Sheffield United and Brewster couldn't score against his old club he played poorly but he does get me the goal so Braga here 7.9 for Roning 7.5 on the goal for Brewster so that draw we had at home we do indeed collect the four points from them we somehow take all six instead of the four I expected of Leipzig and we've taken three off Trabs on Spore with one more to come. Um, which will be our next game. It will be our next game. Another sort of barnstormer there. Um, a very poor game at home where we really we weren't up for it. We had we've had some injuries. We we need to like make adjustments. Um, but the players coming in are actually doing okay uh, by and large. It it just wasn't a good game for us, and somehow Leeds just Everything went for them again. Um, a late, late goal from Bertrand Trore almost gave Villa something, but Demir had scored just on the brink of full time uh, on in the 90th minute. So, comeback win away at Villa. Uh, sets us up for the home game against Trabs on Spor to actually end out the Europa League. We will be playing with a B team. Uh, we will be playing with a B team. We're qualified, so we're going to play that one live. The United game got moved, so after this, the reason why it's a B team is because in three days we play Man City at home, three days after that we play Man United at home, three days after that we play Brighton away. It's a tough little run of tricky fixtures. And then, okay, we've got just over a week, we've got eight days in between Brighton and Tottenham, but it's, it's still on the road. We head to uh, London to play Tottenham. We come back home to play Liverpool like two days later. It's not great. Fulham at home, though, good cup game. 
he should be able to rest some players and still maybe get a result there. And that frees us up for Chelsea not long after. And a decent run then. So that's done at home. Reading and Wolves away. Brentford and Palace at home. And then we amp up again Burnley and United away with Arsenal home. So, next couple of months look lively. They do look lively. So, yeah, let me know what you think about that run that we've been on, that we're going to have to go on. Uh, Brewster, 13 goals, Cook 7.26, Kai George 9 assists, Bourne out 93% passing. Spreading out the man of the match awards, Raskin, not played that many games. Uh, he's played 11 and 1 sub appearance, got 4 yellow cards. And in Europa League, he's got 3 games and a sub appearance, he's got 3 yellow cards. So, not great in Europe, but um, yeah, definitely collecting the yellows. No reds, 26 goals for, 21 conceded, 21 yellow cards, almost 21,000 average attendance, which is pretty good. Still got about 12 million in the bank. And we have roughly, what, uh, 150,000 to spend in terms of which? 165, tells you. Don't need to do the math. So, yeah, we could spend 12.5 million on a player and pay them 165 grand a week. So, if anything big comes out in January uh, in terms of any players coming towards the end of their contract or transfer listed, uh, that we really want to go after to finish up the season in style. We've got a little bit of room to work that. We've got a little bit of room, or maybe two squad players to upgrade. I'm not entirely sure right now. But we do sit, as you can see, in the top six. We've got a game in hand over most teams around us, only Spurs. Um, and we've gained two points on them. So we've leapfrogged Spurs over the last five games. But yeah, we are... Uh, we're some way behind Liverpool. 41 and all. Liverpool are absolutely flying. I dare say at this sort of early point, three quarter uh, sorry, a third of the way through the season, had to be this far back. Like the title is gone for us. Not that it was ever a realistic sort of trophy to target. But I would say United and City have a shot. But it's getting up there. Getting up there. Liverpool might just be absolutely crazy this season. Uh, City they started off poorly and have gained a lot of form, but Liverpool just seem to be running away from it. Look at City there. They've only come up above us over the recent weeks, and now they're up into third. United have kind of held that high position for most of the season, uh, and Liverpool almost straight to the top and stayed there. We're just in this nice sort of position start at the top give it up to liverpool give up that spot to united give up that spot to city you know another team we're just coming back up into six from seventh but again i do feel that by the end of the season we're kind of going to be in and around 10 11 players like mid table is a very good spot and uh, again if we can get 10th place the first season back in the Premier League while being in the Europa League actually getting out of the group stage uh, I'll be quite happy with that I don't think I'm going to fight too hard to defend the FA Cup we're already out of the League Cup so it is what it is but let me know comment section down below what you think about things so far uh, and the squad Brooks is still injured um, with this skin we can see a bit more compressed it's a bit sort of smaller writing um but we could actually have a much bigger squad on one screen which i kind of well there the buffer for the other teams so yeah oh if you know you know if you don't i'm not going to explain it but it's it's a sad way the game kind of works at times i'd wish they treat your squad screen differently to how they would treat other squads um I'll, I'll just leave it at that. If other squad streams were different, then you could have different views on each. And that would be cool. Just have your own as unique and set it up the way you want it with information that you know about your players. Um, and then have the other one set up a bit differently. That would be my wish. That would be my wish if they wanted to make a change. I think that would be a really, really cool one.
But I like the squad view we've got. I like the team we're kind of working with. I've kind of built myself this little, uh, little squad. So, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. We went in here against Villa. And I'm thinking, because this is a, a nothing game. I was thinking of taking Keith Williams on the bench, but I mean, if he if we get an injury in goal, then I really don't want him to be in goal. So I'll I'll take Tim instead. And Brooks's injury isn't done enough. Demir in the game time. So we'll do that average rating though for the season so far. Lewis Cook, Cameron Carter, Vickers up there, um, and then come the you know couple of almost all game players, born on running. George has hit 20. That is the top among the games. That's Carl George as well. Not just George. George is not appearing in this list because I've unclicked unavailable. There we go. I've actually got everybody selected. No, I don't. There we go. I knew we had more injuries. I knew we had more injuries. Um, so Vasilidis, he's out for 12 days to 4 weeks. George is out for 7 weeks to 3 months. He's gone. Uh, he went in that Leeds game. He will not be back. Stuart Finley wants to go out on loan. Uh, we promised him he can. And we're waiting to see if any bids come in. If they do, I'm probably going to give his uh, registration for the next round of games in Europa League over to Ben Pearson. And we'll run with three centre-backs. And if we need to, then I'll change up somehow. Make it work. I don't know. Yeah, as you can see throughout the season, the players playing well um, are kind of who you'd expect. Goals, like I say, Bruce is up there. Kai George, though, not a bad season. And Lewis Cook as well, six from midfield. But like a defensive-minded midfielder. We're playing as a Mizala, but a defensive-minded workhorse for a traditional English midfielder, perhaps. And he's done bits. He has done absolute bits. If you look at the assists and goals together... It's like 16, if it was an American sport, would be points. Like ice hockey, 16 points in 19 games. Uh, and 17 in 20 for Kai George. So that's how the strike force works. Brewster gets most of the goals, but they're both up there providing at least involvement in goals. Um, and Cook would be 10 points in 18 games, which is pretty good. Dead man of the matches, as we said, pretty decent. Um... Raskin Bono, the two Belgians, racking up the yellows. Not entirely thrilled with that, I've got to say. Yeah, apart from Finley wanted to go out on loan, we're in great morale, or great happiness. Two injuries, I'm a recovering from injury. Match sharpness isn't too bad either. We're, we're looking to uh, get some of those boys game time. Morale, again, Finley aside, we're in a decent place. We're still really young, 226, 325. We've got 624 year olds, 323s, 322s, 221s, a 20 year old, a 19 year old, and an 18 year old. Oh boys, I am happy. Top wage is Demir on 80, then Ryan Brewster on 60, George and Borno on 50. I'm pretty happy with those. And everybody's in this first team squad has a four year deal or a five year deal. The bulk have five years. Happy indeed. Mepham, just below 30. Brooks at, at, at 29. We bought those for big money. Demir has actually gained 5 million for what we bought him and is uh, sitting up there at 27 and a half right now. Borno's made a decent leap. Uh, Kai George has actually doubled his money exactly. So, yeah. Brewster, we overpaid for a little bit, but we're getting goals. And I mean, 13 goals is really nothing to sniff at and 18 13 in the premier league so i'm pretty happy like i say with the way things are so um let me know your thoughts as always you know your thoughts as always i've kind of gone back to a bit more of a cautious game um i have been going back to a cautious game. so that's kind of how we're gonna play i want to dive into the mentoring and just see if there's any Change there is not. 
sure everybody's still set up in the right way. Araskin's actually set to Mizala. He's been playing ball winning because Pearson isn't there. I'm okay with that. That all looks good to me. That all looks good to me. Okay. Yep, no, I'm happy with that. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Everything looks decent, boys. Everything looks decent. Um, board requests. We've kind of done everything we could. We could ask for another affiliate club, but they they tend to say no to that. Um We've got youth facilities, training facilities, coaching budget, and a coaching course are all done. They're doing the training facilities again. And academies back at that level one. Uh, youth recruitment's like really, really high. We're expanding the stadium. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that all looks as well. We've stopped playing attacking football. So, I mean, again, it's only a one, a one bar thing. It's only favored, so that's not bad. We're playing entertaining football. Um, and then we are playing some possession football, which they really desire, and high tempo press, which they kind of like a lot. Uh, so that's good. All these seem to be working out in our favour. Satisfied's not bad. Failed, but a difficult draw, so they're kind of accepting of the EFL Cup, the League Cup. And yeah, finishing in the top half of the table. That's where they expect us now. After our good start. And I kind of agree with that. I do kind of agree with that. Um, and yeah. We're supposed to be competitive in the Europa League. We're actually going to win the group. So. That is. A very good place. Still no transfers. Still nothing else. We're going to receive this deal for Jose Canias. Um, yeah. We still made a profit this year. Of around 102 million. And. Yeah, we lost like 40. So we're up 60 million on transfers. That's a good place, I think, to be. A couple of new names on the list. We got Patella, youngster. Looks quite decent. Again, quite cheap. Uh, Tonali came up. Looks like he's leaving on a free at the end of the season. We might be able to lock him in. Um, but I'm probably, if anything, I'd bid early and get him in in January. Uh, because I, I just don't think that that's going to be worth fighting for. Um, yeah, I don't know how we'd fit or if he'd fit. I need to do some more work on that. So, a couple of new names onto the list. Everybody here, though, is looking good. And if we look, normally transfers, Pavlovich, Batelia, uh, Ajay, Tonali, and Colombo. We add in Vlasic as well that so a sun shell with his 22 million and Lamas who's currently out on loan uh they don't want to come in loan deals colombo would be good but don't need anybody so i find anyone new i'll keep you updated on that as well i will keep you on that oh i'm um, dynamics that didn't get there but he must go out on loan form hasn't been great but still we're in a good place the hierarchy, Captain uh, Lewis Cook has jumped up. He's kind of isolated on his own, but he's up. And that's the main thing. We've got seven highly influential. Expect maybe Bono as vice captain to jump up on one other. I'd like a Mepham. I'd like Ronning. I'd like Brewster. Those are the type of players I'd like up in team leader. Uh, Isaac Success, Cameron Cameron Vic Vickers, not really along with us. You can see here. Pretty much an interesting group of players. Quite nice. Uh, vice captain in with Mepham, Brooks and Roberts. The Welshman. Henriks, George, Lowe and Ruining in the secondary group. Um, so kind of interesting. Three of the new fullbacks and our goalie. And then our other new fullback is in others. Success and Demir are new signings. And Cook just isn't fitting into any group as captain. Which is... Kind of interesting. Uh, Ronin doesn't like the individual training. Okay, let me go and check this. Distribution short. 
Okay, I'm perfectly happy to take you off that. But you said, there we go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so Finley, like I say, out on loan. Apart from that, Tyler Roberts wants a new deal. He's on 15, 14 grand a week. Um, it depends what he wants. It does depend what he wants. Regular starter, no. I'm not doing any of those. In the future. Okay. So you want a new deal, but you're unhappy that you're not first choice, but I can't really give him that promise. Um Oh, talking of promises, that's the other thing I wanted to check. Yeah, all I've got is Stuart Finley at the moment, so I don't need to do anything. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to jump into this game then against Trabzon Spore. Uh, I believe Leipzig Braga are quite close. Happening in their game. So Leipzig got a draw away from home. They're ahead by a point. Yeah, it, it, it's just this result. Whoever gets the better result and the advantage on a draw goes to Leipzig. So, kind of what I thought. Oh, what about Rangers? Check. Big opening day win. Good win at Limbasol. It's not exactly the toughest group. They drew it home to Slavia Praha. And away to Slavia Praha. And away to Ljubljana. Okay. So Praha probably going to beat Ljubljana to take Rangers through in second place. That's probably what's going to happen. Uh, other groups. Uh, so it looks like Zagreb are through Feyenoord are out. Oh my. Feyenoord and Lance not having a good time in that group. And they'd probably be my two I'd, I'd expect to go through. Feyenoord for sure and then either Lance or Zagreb. Zagreb have been good. Lance not so good. And uh, Feyenoord absolutely terrible. Uh, Braga, Leipzig, us. I thought that would be the fight. It is the fight. Um... Rangers and then Slavia Praha for me. Milan with one game left and PSV Eindhoven. Wow, all the big clubs are falling. All the big clubs look to be falling right now. Olympiakos and Red Star Belgrade are through. Mold don't make it through. Atalanta and Frankfurt do make it through. Belenense is not. Anderlecht. Kind of a tough group, but okay. Marseille and Arsenal make it through. Bilbao and Moscow do not. Sevilla, Ghent, make it through. So, looks like down the bottom end of the groups here, things are a little more as expected. First four groups, not so much. Our group, probably the most expected. Group C, not too bad. A and D, like, not having Lons, Feyenoord, Milan, or PSV is... Wow. It, it's 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 something. It is something. It is something. So I'm happy with my team. I'm happy with my team. Um, we need to keep them fit. We need to sort of keep people playing the best way we can right now. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start off on cautious because it's helped us out before. Quite a bit. So, yeah. Team Bender. Chance to shine. Finley gets game time. Puts himself out there for the loan move. See what we can do. Finish off the group in style. Say so we're already going to finish top of the group. So, Lewis Cook takes the armband. It's Stephen Bender, Musa Wagwe, Cameron Carter-Vickers, Stuart Finlay, Max Lowe, 
Lewis Cook with the captain's armband alongside Nicholas Raskin and Ryan Gold in the three-man midfield. Morgan gibbs White behind Tyler Roberts and Ryan Brewster. The bench, Tim Ronin, Kyle George, Isaac Success, Sebastian Bornau, Chris Meffam, Benjamin Heinrichs. And recovering from injury, it could see the return of Yusuf Demir. Not going to try and pronounce most of their names. Um, that is something I always get wrong. And so we're not going to try. Okay, they've lost a lot. Get out there. And add to it. Uh, Raskin, Cook, Bender, Wagway looked like they really enjoyed that. Gibbs, White, Roberts, and Brewster too. So, a couple of midfielders, right back and goalkeeper, and the front three kind of are okay with it. So, here we go. The black bar substitutes, redacted information. You're not allowed to know who's on the bench there. Um, and the same for Trabs on Sport. Not allowed to know. It's redacted information, ladies and gentlemen. Not today. Not today. Do not pay attention to the names at the bottom of the screen that you might have seen pop up. We are top. We will stay top. Apparently, this should be a draw. I do not believe that is correct. Playing here. Praise the boys nice and early. Try and get a little bit in. Bagway didn't quite like that. Balanced. Up into positive. 25 minutes. Start demanding more of the boys now. Start seeing if we can get some pressure. Does not look like a bad performance so far from us. Few tired boys, few players not really doing much. Raskin keeps up his bookings uh, that he is so fond of. Oh, the flex off Tyler Roberts, but doesn't quite, doesn't quite end up in a good place. But Morgan Gibbs White, oh, and it's a really, really poor shot. Shakira there with a big save. Okay, I'm gonna say that um, not happy. Lot more to come. Everyone's at least motivated. Well, we've got a corner. Ryan Gold is headed clear. Tronson will bring this clear now for Trabzon Sport. He's got support behind him if he wants to use it. Raskin wins it. Loses it, wins it. Ryan Gold, don't lose it now. Come on. Roberts, that's a poor ball up towards Roberts. He couldn't get anywhere close. Hook. Somehow comes out of it with a little bit of a scramble. Now fights Tyler Roberts down the right-hand side. Good ball from him. Could see this be a good chance, but no. Raskin. Max Lowe. Ryan Gold back out to him. Using that nice bit of room. Back to Ryan Gold. What a save. There it is. It's worked back in. It's offside. It's offside. Who was offside? Was that Lowe? I think that might have been low when the ball rebounded back. Yeah, he was just offside, I think. As he played it back across to Morgan Gibbs. Well, a solid start from the boys. Uh, a far more open game. They are up for it, but it looks like at least we're ready to put a bit of work in. It looked like we've shut them down pretty well here. In general, but they do find their way out. Shell prayer with time. Max Lowe gets the ball, but can't hold on to it. Wagway, though, cleans up. Stephen Bender. And they're not willing to press. Carter Vickers. Do it, Finley. Nice ball over towards Brewster. Not going to get there. Good idea. Poor execution. Wagway. It's a poor clearing header. Into the center of the pitch, and a player could have got there. Bilal now inside the box. It's over to Giannini. It's over. It's over. That is a let off there. Sloppy play from the centre-backs. The ball-playing centre-backs who take way too many risks in hitting it long to the striker. This is more what I want to see us play like. He go Cook evades his man. Finds Wagwan. Wagwan, buddy. What a play. 
running down the right hand side of the pitch the Barcelona youngster you're on a cheap deal comes up big feeds Tyler Roberts and one of last season's goal scoring heroes Cook does well Huawei does well skips through this challenge into the box and lays it up on a plate there we go opening goal of the game Tyler Roberts looking good in this almost B team and Finley who wants game time is on a 6.2 and just is not showing me that he truly deserves to be out there um probably about time that we actually set the opposition instruction uh oh I forgot to do that in the pre-game uh still Finley off and we'll put Chris Mepham on there Mepham Carter's Vickers I mean that is the former uh Bournemouth connection Raskin I kind of want to bring him off which means Demir and I'm going to slide Lewis Cook put Gibbs White back in midfield as a Mazzala so Gibbs White's back in his normal role Cook's going to be the ball winner in that midfield now he's had his assist he's done his you know done his job he fed the ball to Wagway so it's as good as an assist really um and up top Rian Brewster doesn't seem to be looking too sharp right now a couple of tired bodies in midfield as well Set that up by firing up the team. Last 15 minutes, one more sub. Wagway with a throw in towards Tyler Roberts. Back to him. They've already combined well. Gibbs White, Rian Brewster, lovely there. Gibbs White across. I thought the defender was going to get there. Brewster steps up in front, swivels, pivots, hits, goal. Four strikers have scored today. It doesn't look like the defence was fully aware of what was happening here. Lovely finish by Rian Brewster. And there we go. That's what we were waiting for. That's what we wanted to see. We're going down to Cautious. And the third sub is going to be Max Lowe is on a 6.5. And Bender is on a 6.3. I don't want to change goalies. Um, I'm going to put Hendricks on at right back so he can play there. He can play there. Sit and defend. Try and mop up a bit. Get Heinrich some more game time. Nice that Demir gets some game time. Um, and we're able to sit back, relax, take that 2-0 victory. I think we're well worth it. A couple of players getting booked I didn't like there throughout the team. But um, yeah, Cook did really well down the right-hand side. Wagwe got the ball, fed Tyler Roberts, it's a goal. Throw in, Wagwe to Roberts, back to him, over to Gibbs White, Rian Brewster tucks it in the corner of the net. Not bad. I've got to say, not bad. Um, wow, Bender jumped up thanks to the clean sheet. He gets saved. He was like by far the worst man on the pitch. Um, by far. Point the finger. You let yourself down today, Stuart. You let yourself down. You want game time. I'm trying to loan you out. And you play poorly. I, I can't. I can't do any more than what I did. I cannot do any more than what I did. Also, final pick up a win. Lons with a draw. I think against Zagreb is enough to take Lons through. Uh, we will check big win for Rangers. Ryan Kent and Jack with a hat trick. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Prague lose out to Ljubljana though. Oh. Own. Oh. Right. Okay, I, I think Rangers still go through, right? I can't remember. Um, Milan don't look to have done enough. PSV Eindhoven don't look to have done enough with that loss there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, a couple of those groups might be a little uh, 
a little interesting, let's say that much. A little bit interesting. Wow. Okay, get me to the uh, end of the game. Get to the, the screen. So there we go. So pretty good Roberts Brewster picking up those goals. Three bookings. Three bookings. Not the best. Slightly edged it, but kind of a, a nervy, narrow game. To be honest with you, far more even than it should have been. Look now at the groups. Zagreb, Mitterland through. Swansea and Leipzig through. That puts out Lawns, Feyenoord, Braga and Trabzonspor. Rangers actually win the group ahead of Slavia Prague because they lost. Um, Ljubljana, Ljubljana, sorry, and Limassol out. Sivaspor take Group D ahead of Ludogrets. AC Milan and PSV Eindhoven knocked out. Big shocks there. Olympiakos and Red Star take the group from Mold and Karabag. Atlanta and Eintracht Frankfurt over Belenenses and Anderlecht. Marseille and Arsenal over Athletic Club Bilbao and Dinamo Moscow. Sevilla win Group H ahead of Gaunt. And Bratislava and Borisov are out. Interest. At eight point one. He played well. He played well at the back. He played well moving forward. I'm happy with that. So three hundred and twenty two K there. Nine thirteen there. And then five twenty there. So pretty decent amount of money. That's five. 1.755 million. That's decent. That is decent. Um, and yeah, we controlled the game. Very slow start, but we just slowly start working our way in. And we were always in control. They really did throw people forward towards the end. But um, they couldn't get the job done. We could. And I will absolutely take those kind of results. Absolutely. So yeah. 8.1 for Wagway. Got to let Finley know. Just a warning. But I think he knows it wasn't good enough. Max Lowe didn't play well. Um, but a solid performance. 6.8, 6.9, 6.7. 6.7. Kind of the average somewhere. And those high sixes. Let us just say... Probably not broke. I don't know if that takes him out of like injury recovery training or something. If we do rest. I'm not sure how that really, really works. Um, yeah, the rest can have a day off here to get back ready for the big games we got coming. He's shocked. You're shocked you played like absolute bash. It was unacceptable. So why are you shocked then? Be warned. Okay, he just doesn't like me. I think it's safe to say that some of the young players we've got in defence, Finley might be worth possibly selling in January or at the end of the season, just loan him out to the end of the season. And Mepham at the back, training really well, leading that group. Benson midfield, Raskin. Uh, he is developing, he is turning into a good player, so that's something to watch on the future. Um, and Demir, back through injury and new at the club, he's already starting to really excel in training. I wonder if we can take a quick look at how he's progressing. Determination's dropping. Oh, we don't like that. We do not like it. His stamina's really flying up, though. That's good. Anticipation's going up. I really like that. Um, what can we do here? Off the ball decisions. I mean, probably. Let's let's try and push his hacking movement up. Keep that anticipation going up. Decisions going up. Uh, and then if stamina and work rate can also go up, I think he'll be the kind of player I... He's actually settled in really, really well. 
He has settled in really well. I'm pretty happy with him. Pretty happy with him. Okay. So a good game. Good things. Morale gains. Once Finley leaves, we'll be okay. Any sort of changes here, I don't really expect. No. Okay, so Roberts wants his contract. Finley wants to leave. That's where they are. Oh, and on a Sunday and a Wednesday, at least they're both at home. We've got half a shot. We've got half a shot at home. Man City, Man United coming up. We're still in the top six. We might not be come January. We might not be come January. Um. I think, though, the next game we're going to play, similar idea as before, we're going to throw in for that Liverpool game. Uh, I think that might be the next one. Against the league leaders, we're at home. Let's see what they do here. United are also playing. I don't care. Yeah, City won't play because they're playing us. But United and Liverpool playing. Tottenham, Brighton. We want to see what they're like. Um, want to see what they're all like right now. There are next few games. There are next few games. So we'll see what those results come up like, but it's very difficult to read this text, by the way. So this this yellow background colour. I mean, this text should be black in my opinion. Keep the bright yellow. I got no problem with the bright yellow as part of the skin and the design. But black text on here um would be fantastic. Now, have you found any of Ernesto Valde, uh, Valverde's recent comments about what he pursues to be your current overachievement? Um, no, he's being genuine. I'd like to think he's being genuine. There we go. And Gary Holt's declaration. There we go, Fustino. I kind of want to keep Fustino. Just going to say not prepared to ask. Because if a big bid comes in, you know we can go elsewhere. But we, we do like Fustino, especially if Finley's going out and, you know, he would be one of the primary options, I think, to come in. Him, Ben Cabango, probably the first two in center or defense, possibly. Okay, Brighton inflict the second draw of the season on to Liverpool. Uh, Leeds win away at, at, at Villa. That's continuing to do a good job in keeping their heads above relegation zone. Burnley Palace is a draw. Everton beat Southampton. 10-man Reading get a late goal to solidify a 2-0 victory away to Fulham. United in charge against Brentford and Chelsea beat Ollie McBurney and Sheffield United on the... Not bad. Goal every four games in the Premier League for Sheffield United. Not bad for Ollie. Um... Yeah, I think we're we're in a good enough position to kind of be out of the relegation zone worries. We can come a point behind Arsenal again, leapfrog Everton back into the top six. And who else can we leapfrog? Nobody. But we can get a point behind Man City as well. And then, if we won our other game in hand, we'd be two points ahead of Chelsea. So I think if we win our games in hand, which, given the running we've got, will not happen, I do think that we would be fifth place team just ahead of Chelsea. I think Tottenham would be sixth and Chelsea would be seventh. I think that's how how that might work out. But yeah, Liverpool look absolutely ascendant, but a late goal. Aguilar coming through big for Brighton. So, we'll see. But my plan is then for the next few matches, unless the schedule changes again, um, would be, I'll play through these, try and, I mean, two draws would be massive here. Two draws would be absolutely massive. A win and a loss would be absolutely massive. It's just points, one points. So, two from these games. I mean, realistically, three points here. Either three draws or a win in any of those three would be Four points across the four would be massive. I would say five to six points from this run of games would be probably more than we should expect. But if we can if we can get ourselves 
five to six points in this run of five games. I actually think that would be a very good return. That could be a very good return. Um, yeah, we'll come back to the Liverpool game then. That'll be next episode. And then I guess we'll probably do Europa League game after that because I don't really see anything super fun before that unless it's like Arsenal at home. United away, I don't really want to play the big boys away so I'm going to get frustrated when we get battered. It's not going to be um, a fun video to record or for you guys to watch. Um, so, yeah, I think it's uh, possibly then going to be the Liverpool game, the Arsenal game. But more likely to be the Europa League game because it's actually there. And then we'll see. We'll see coming into the end of the season. If we're fighting for points to secure something, we might run in with the Villa game as well. So that might be the end of season game. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It'll either be the Villa game or the Spurs game at home, which is the actual end of season. So next three videos should see us be at the end of the season, unless the Europa League goes longer and we're just going to show basically one of the games. Um, in each round, I think, possibly, depending on the draw. I find it interesting, the home game there, depending. Um, that rolled us in to December 12th for Man City. We've got a lot of, of decent players coming up to the end of their contracts. We've got those players on the shortlist. I don't know if I want to actually add anything in terms of first team players. I think it's definitely... Definitely going to be youth players, if anything. Um, got tons of wide midfielders, but they don't look like great prospects. A top centre midfielder, which is really good. We're playing with three of them. Attack midfielder to keep an eye on. I like that. Um, defenders look absolutely trash. And so do the goalkeepers. Um, wingbacks, defence midfielders. So really... Defensively, this isn't this is an attacking class, not a defensive class. That's what they're telling me. Um, and the wide players aren't that good. So we've got a, a very handy winger and plenty of wide midfielders that suck. But we don't really think there's going to be anything out of that. But a centre midfielder who looks great, a good attacking midfielder, and a good Striker, probably the same player they're talking about. They say golden generation. You give me a centre mid, an attacking midfielder, and a striker who will break into the first team eventually. I will call that a golden generation. I will indeed call that. So that's the youth intake. Not too shabby at all. Um, but it doesn't help us out at fullback where we do need depth. So, yeah, we'll see. And I'm going to round this one out by going ahead. Searching up. Those who deals are expiring. Uh, there's Rudiger. Uh, Kiesa's on his way elsewhere. Taliska. Yeah, Taliska wouldn't get a, a work permit, but what a player he could have been for us. Uh, let, let's let's do two things here. Drop down to 28. And let's... Is there a way to find out if I can add in the work permit stuff here? No? Seem to be a work permit. Okay. So be it. It is what it is. So I think there's a Rudiger. You can look at Batshuayi. I'm not really sold on Herrera. I mean, possibly Bakayoko. I think he could. He could be a decent pickup. Eric Bay could be decent as well. Start adding. Boys in. He's got a deal. Percy 
how I'm a bro gonna be edit these not quite good enough so if I don't know we're gonna see where they come up a uh, Tenali's already on the list you'd fail well, I don't believe it would be good enough. Um, Danny Broger. Bit Rich doesn't look to be good enough. Rome, probably not. Ben Woodburn, I actually want to take a look at Ben. I think so. Sangali I've had before, but apparently no work permit. Brian Gill, I mean, it would be good, but we don't that position so no okay let's add let's add all them in that case asking price anyone here i might have missed but i really want to add in probably uh okay I think we can afford most of those wages. Do believe so. Do believe so. Okay, time to get our scouts working. We we'll line all them up. Everyone's at least work permit lightly. Everyone is at least four star ability. Oh, sorry, potential. Um, and cheap enough to buy. I think we redo all of the Tony Finale whose report we don't need to redo. That's fine. I think that's a good set of players to start looking into like a couple of big wages that we can probably deal with. Batch we could probably pay 70. Buy we could pay that. I think we can pay about 100 to 120. So we should be okay. Um, and then the other thing I really wanted to look at here would also just be who's available. Who is still available and would want to come in? With January on the horizon, it's a good chance to take a look. Uh, like Angelino, 10 million might not be a bad option there. Might not be a bad option. Um, I think again, we're going to be setting ourselves up to try and get as much information as possible. Just to see who we can get and if they're gonna be good enough. Um, I know most of these probably aren't gonna be. That's the thing. That is. Get those set up with new scout reports. Start again. Yeah, and so if they have not got a scout report, they're either NA or work permit likely, and they're in a position we play. I'm going to get a scout report. These aren't really our targets. These are not players that I actually think we want to sign. But they're possible signings that I actually do just want to see. So we'll figure that as we go um figure that as we go get a shame that is a shame because that is a player i think could do those 17 get the scout reports in on those um 
and we won't go too much further than this like i say i think most of these are going to come back as those we'll go down to two and a half million in terms of their current values what's me Reports all done. Pretty happy with that. Loan listed. Anybody absolutely unbelievable who we'd want to bring in on loan. Really think so. Is there anybody we want to try and Turn that loan deal into a permanent deal? Don't know, but again, it's 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 really worth checking. I'm gonna go down to what? Go down to there and then take out all the players that don't fit. So all the wingers and wide midfielders are gone. All the the failing work permits are gone. And anyone previously scouted by us. Did you really just do that to me? I'm holding down. I'm holding down control, but it, it doesn't really want to let me do this. Again, even just a small amount there, it doesn't want to let me select who I want to select. Um, it's only another 10 names. High names because Polino doesn't mean. Okay. Like I say, that should bring us up to decent look at our shortlist with a decent amount of names on there. We still haven't scouted the big boys. I'm perfectly fine with that right now but yeah 67 seven players have been found just double check if anyone slipped through go there that should be else there we go so everybody's been scouted we'll get those reports back Tonali, Van Huysden, Balde and Angelino have all been scouted recently enough uh, out of everybody yeah they're all four star potential at least there's room to grow I think we're in a good spot I don't think any of these had a really bad personality either It's a mix of things. It's a mix. But okay. That's where we're going to leave it. Um, thank you very much for the continued support. As always, up next, Liverpool at home. Oh, boy. Yeah. Liverpool at home up next. City United, Brighton away. Tottenham away. And then Liverpool at home. Can we inflict their first league defeat on them of the season and then their hunt to become invincible? I believe the answer is going to be a no. I, I, I truly believe that like a win against these three are going to be like super tough. Spurs away as well. Brighton away, we've got a shot that, but if I can get draws in every single game, I'll be pretty damn happy. Um, so that's where we are. But yeah, link in the description for my Twitter and Twitch at, you know, Chris Ormy, both of those as well. Patreon forward slash Chris Ormy, you want to support us there and keep the content flowing. More, more videos are to come. Uh, over this Christmas period, it's been really difficult to get enough recording ahead of time. 
there's so much going on right now in in life that i can't get it done the way i wanted to so we're stretching these videos out one a week instead of two a week but regularly we will be wednesday sunday or wednesday saturday uploads in terms of youtube and this save uh after in the new year we should be back to regular again on twitch and we should be back regularly on youtube uh twice a week with potential of more videos going up as well we're throwing ourselves into it so if you want to throw some money our way to support the cause then patreon link in description over on twitch you can subscribe there's a donation link underneath the uh on the twitch page as well so hey i really do appreciate anyone who is willing to step up and support so thank you very much i'll see you next time though big games still to come hope to see you there for them wish me all the best of luck and i wish you all a merry christmas happy new year and a good time keep yourselves and your loved ones safe and i'll see you when i see you oh boy liverpool up next it does not get easier